Hey, yo! Welcome back, Nuggets family, Eagles fans, NFC East fans, football fans. It's your boy, Nuggets, with the last predictions. Now, remind, let me just tell y'all right now. Already had, already had, already knew who, who I was, uh, already know. Already had a decision like maybe weeks ago before I who I who I picked to win this division. Grant, this is also recorded after I just watched a great kickoff game with the with the uh, Cowboys and the uh, and the Bucks. That was a great game. Now, before we get into, it, we're gonna go through the teams in this division right now because this, this division is terrible. But everyone has a shot. You never know. Everyone has their flaws. Everyone has, everyone has. There's some positives and there's some negatives, right? Let's go to the room. Let's start with my beloved Philadelphia Eagles. The negatives is that you know people don't believe in Jalen Hurts. So I don't. I think people in the Eagles organization don't believe in Jalen Hurts. Um, not we don't know what uh Nick Sirianni can do. New head coach, rookie head coach, going into the season. But it also it kind of works as a positive too because no one is, is expecting us to do anything. No one is expecting us. They don't know what to expect from us. They expect us to lose. Well, most people expect us to lose and like come in last. But you know, we don't really expect us to do anything. That's when we do well. That's when Eagles do well. Which you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it, man. Everyone expects us to lose. You know, win four games. That's it. All right, cool. Bet. You know, now Grant, don't be surprised the Eagles win this division. I'm not picking on this division to be honest with you because I'm going to say this about Jalen Hurts. I'm not saying I don't believe in him. I'm not, but I don't, I'm not saying, like, here's the thing. I'm not saying he's good. I'm not saying he's bad. He only played four games. That's not enough for me to say whether he's good or bad. He still needs more time. I still think it's like kind of like being, I still think it's kind of like his rookie season right now. So, Jalen, he's still play for his job pretty much because, you know, they got rid of Wentz. Hey, we got rid of Wentz. You know, we're here for you. And they drafted Devontae Smith when they could have drafted a quarterback, which, I mean, granted, they're still even even after that, there's still rumors about them trying to get Deshaun Watson. I don't think that's happening. I think that's cap with a situation with a situation going on right now. I wouldn't want to get him. So first, it's already too late to even get him right now when the season already started. So no point. Yeah, you never know. They can they can do misses and trades. You never know. It really depends on how uh, Jalen Hurts plays in the season. It really depends on that. But, but having have said all that, you know. I said the, the Eagles got some good talent around them, man. Don't sleep with them. Devontae Smith, the highest uh, Heisman winner trophy. Jalen Rager, think he'll play better than they did with Jalen Hurts. Now, yeah, I'll some of y'all know I'm a I'm a Woods fan, but I will say the biggest thing that um, Jalen Hurts had over Woods Wentz is leadership. Jalen Hurts shows tremendous leadership better than uh, Wentz. I hate to admit it, but it's true. It's true. He, he's shown that. It's almost like a little bit like a Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, honestly. It's kind of like a little bit of a similar story, but we want to see how we can do with this stack team. Like I said, Jalen Rager, um, Quez Watkins has stepped up. I, you know, I can't wait to see what Quez Watkins can do. Ugh. Defensive line, if we can stay healthy. Miles Sanders just need to get rid of you know, the drops. And we should be we should be good. The offense should be good. Then a the defense, you know, you know, got Darius Slay, uh, got Nelson in the, in the uh, in corners. Should be, be a good quarterback tantrum. You I mean, know, you have uh, Anthony Harris now. I don't think Ryan McCoy is going to play this first game, but I don't know if it's Kalen Wallace's hurt or not. Because I'm going to send a big things for Kalen Wallace. Hopefully he can do something this year. You know, we got the defensive line. Uh, uh, Cox, Graham, uh, was it Hargreaves? And, um, yeah, and uh, Bert, Bernat. But, yeah, Josh Sweat might start. He's, that's why he's been killing that camp. So... You no, know this team is a sleeper, man. Don't be surprised if the Eagles win this division. Like I, well, then again, like I said, anybody can win this division. So psst, it is now. The Giants, they're set. They got the defense. They got the offensive pieces. It just comes down to Daniel Jones. If you can't, if you can't get it done with this squad, you're out of here, bro. That's what it is. They they have the they have the they have the team ready for you. If you can't get this dub, yeah, you're gone, bro. You're gone. Simple as that. I, I don't believe in Daniel Jones. He hasn't really shown anything to make me feel, feel like, oh, man, he's improved. We, we got to see, man. I, 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 I'm I just not a believer in a kid. I'm really, really not. He, he's their future right now. If I say, he, we can't get together, psh, he's out of here. And then the Giants are going to have to pick another quarterback. And is it Dave Gettleman, whatever his name is, he might be out the door. 
You know what I mean? Because what people were like, who the hell is this guy with that that they drafted? Psh, damn, you better make your presence now, buddy. Your time is clicking because you, you got the team around you. Like if honestly, if they had the court, damn, that is very tough. I feel um, that's tough, man, because everybody. Everyone has good offensive pieces because you look at the Washington defense is already set. Well, mainly that f- that front four and a little bit of the front seven too. Offensively, they got some pieces, but they don't have a quarterback. Honestly, if like I feel as though Washington and Giants are kind of like the same, they have they have, they have a team around you, but just don't, they don't know about the quarterback. I mean, Fitzpatrick, you already know he, he's not going to be able to fit, every, play every game. We already know how Fitzpatrick gets down. We have that one couple games where he's like he's looking good, but then there's that one game where it's like interception, pick, pick, pick after pick. And what Shannon Sharp says, when you don't say anything from Fitzpatrick, he does well. When you do expect things from him, he does terrible. Like he could have, the Jets could have won that uh, last game to get to the playoffs in 2015 against the Bills, and that didn't work. He choked on that, choked there. In 2016 was a nightmare, so. Yeah, man, we don't know what the Washington's gonna do with their with their quarterback situation. Say it. and now, Grant, we know who who the Giants quarterback is, but like, is he the one? Is he just is this gonna be a season where he, where he uh, steps up? I doubt it. Now, Grant, hey everybody in this division, hey everybody, hey all, hey all y'all. If you everyone that's listening to this, that's with Giants, Cowboys, or Washington fan. Now we get to the Cowboys. Their press is coming back because you know that team was. This team was just defeated when that after after uh, Dak Prescott was injured. That team was not the same. It wasn't. It wasn't. But he's back now. And and shows me to say this. I picked him to win the division, and I'm still sticking by that. I mean, he's got the offense. Um, the defense can't play any worse. Can't play any worse. So. I said, it's gotta go. I mean, it's, I mean, quarterback. They just had the best quarterback in the division. That that's mainly it right there. It's, it's just had the best quarterback in the division. That's it. But we'll see, man. Maybe BJ Hurts might be that person. I don't know. We'll see. But let's talk about this game, man. And yo. I thought it was gonna be a I thought it was gonna be a body bag. But yo, Dak Prescott did miss a beat. He did miss a beat. I felt as though not playing the preseason, not having any snaps because he haven't played since October, since your injury, he'd be rusty. He looked good. But here's the problem once again. The number he has he has the numbers. But still does not but still loses the game. Like bro, they, 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 the 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 Cowboys had four turnovers. Well they didn't they, they're not on dumb, but like they cost Tampa to have four turnovers. And they still lose the game. That's empty cows. Now granted, the, the numbers that Dak Prescott was, was put on. It was the circumstances were different because they weren't coming from behind. Pause. Most of the time when they had those numbers, they were coming from behind, like by a bunch of touchdowns. There, they were right in the nick of things. They were right in the nick of things. Like they were right there. They didn't get destroyed. They were right there. But Tampa Bay just did some dumbly turnovers that you know, like bro, Chris Godwin. Even if he didn't, even if he didn't make it as a touchdown, that would have been a, that, that was still gonna be a touchdown regardless. Maybe on the next play, D- that. Is sh- you let I like, just feel as though the, the I gotta give the the, uh, the Cowboys credit, but dang, Bucks could have had you know decent amount of points. I mean, th- that tr- that miss catch by Lorda Fournette, the fumble by the running back, Damn, who else? Someone else tur- turned the ball over. Somebody else turned the ball over. I forgot who, but I believe they have four turnovers. The Bucks and the Cowboys can capitalize off of that. They could have, yo, bro. Even even after that fumble, right? They were marching on that field. The big thing you can say that, that, you say that can haunt them was Tyron Smith uh, again holding ten yards back. Because now I had to go for a field goal. It gave Tom Brady enough time for a minute and some seconds left. Gave him enough time. Now they were going to talk about that one play with Chris Godwin, you know, for that pass offense interference. But Tom's like, you know, at the end of the game like that, let the players decide what's going on. Now, do I believe it's uh, it was offensive offensive pass interference? Yes, it was. But since it happened to the Cowboys, <laughs> I just wonder if he just doesn't care. Because let's be real, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's be real. If it was us, the Eagles fans, anybody else facing facing the Cowboys, that were the same circumstances. They would have been like, "Well, you can't, uh, you can't let that, you can't let one game decide the whole entire fate." Which, 
yeah, Dallas Cowboys, you can't because you have plenty of opportunities to, uh, to you know, take this game over because they were in the red zone a decent amount of times. That grand, they did score three touchdowns, but like more than like they could have been like way ahead because they're. I feel as though they were in the red zone more than when the Tampa Bay was almost. I feel as though. So they have plenty of opportunities right there. They did. Bless it. Passing. And you know what's funny? I had a feeling that that this game was there's going to be a call that people are going to be talking about for the next day, and that was that Chris Bowen push off man. That that's going to be talked about. That's going to be talked about. But despite the Cowboys losing, I still think Jack he, he's he's in the middle now. He he's not rusty. He's not. He's not. He is good to go. And I said, and it kills me to say that. It kills me to say that, man. I, oh my god, I, it, I just want to shoot myself just for saying that, though. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, the Cowboys want to ruin in this fucking division. Oh man. Now, Michael Parsons, he got a welcome to the NFL because they were picking on that dude. They were picking on that dude. Let me tell you. Oh my god, Michael Parsons has a lot to learn in the NFL. He 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 really does. Like I said, it's growing pains. It's growing pains. Dallas Cowboys defense is still not good. Like I said, the turnovers that there was going on was just it was just dumb mistakes that the uh, Bucks players did. It's not like they like cut the coverage or interception. Now some of the fumbles I get no credit for, but uh, like uh, getting picks and stuff like that. Like I just the way how to get the picks is just like ugh. Uh, I mean, but that can happen sometimes. So, but listen, yeah, I get credit to uh, Dallas Cowboys Stevens, but Grant, they're still bad. They're still bad. I, I don't. Uh, the best who they're facing, and that was the best quarterback they'll face for a long time. But man, you can't give you can't give uh, Tom Brady that time. You can't. We, we see how the story's played out. You give uh, Tom Brady enough time. And the name's are already funny right now with him. Like, you know, look at that. Like, he already knew. So that's a scary, scary, scary looking face. But, you know, happy the Cowboys got their first loss. But second one is not great. Don't be surprised if the Eagles win the division. Don't be surprised if Washington wins the division. Don't be surprised if Jazz win this, this division. So it's anybody's game. It is anyone's game. But me personally, like I said, I think the Cowboys are going to fucking win the division. At the, partly for what, what after what I just saw, man. I like, it, oh my god, they are. Oh my god, I can't, this, this 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 kills me. Anyway, land this video right soon because oh my god, I can't believe. Ugh, ugh, ugh. But I said this this was a great kickoff game. This was a very very good game. But like I said, man, Dak Prescott had the numbers, but came up short. Came up short. Came up short. And what, what can you do about it? What can you do? Just gotta see what happens. Just gotta see what happens later on the season. Just gotta see. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I'm tired. I'm getting the hell out of here. I need to sleep for for work tomorrow. My God, that's why I'm just like not as energetic as I normally am. But my God, I'm ready to freaking. Pass the hell out. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so fucking tired right now. My God. Uh, comment the video. Uh, share the video. Give it a like. Uh, you know, also be sure to check us on uh, Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the above. Be sure to check me out on that stuff. Oh man, I'm tired. So I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Always remember, as Jay Cool said, there is no such thing as life better than yours. Go birds, like I said, but I still think Cowboys gonna win the division, but still go birds though. Go birds. So don't be that's it. Don't be like don't be surprised. Like I said, everyone has a wide open shot. So it's like shouldn't even be, you know, on your mind be like, oh man, oh. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. God, I'm like when I'm tired, I lose my train of thought. It's fucking crazy. And I hate it for it. I hate it. But anyways, y'all have a good night. Be safe. As always Jay Cole said, there is no such such thing as a life brand in yours. Peace.